Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition of three digit numbers and hundreds. Three digit numbers and hundreds. Let's start with our first example. What is 248 plus 500? 248 plus 500. We're going to do this using the vertical format. The first stage is to write the question again in columns. So let's do that over here. 248 plus 500. Let's label the columns as well. The first one is the units column, the next one is the tens, and over here we have the hundreds column. Now you know the routine by now. What we do is we add the numbers in columns starting with the column on the right hand side first. So let's do that column on the right hand side is this one here. So what is 8 plus 0? Well we don't need to work that out. 8 plus 0 is 8. We've done the units, now we're going to do the tens. Got 4 plus 0. Again, we don't need to work this out. 4 plus 0 is 4. And lastly, we're going to add the hundreds column. What is 2 plus 5? 2 plus 5. Well, we know that. That's nice and easy. It's 7. And we have our answer. Two hundred and forty eight plus five hundred is seven hundred and forty eight, and we've done that using the vertical format. That is correct. Now let's go to our second example. What is six hundred and forty two plus six hundred? 642 plus 600. Again, we're going to write this question down in the vertical format. So let's do that. We've got 642 plus 600. Let's label the columns again units, tens, hundreds. You don't have to label the columns each time, but we d we're doing this uh, just by way of good practice and that we can show what we're doing. Right, the first stage is to add the column on the right hand side first. So we're adding the numbers 2 and 0. The answer is 2. And now we're adding the tens tens column is here, we're adding 4 and 0. Again, 4 plus 0 is 4. Now lastly, we're going to add the hundreds column. We've got 6 plus 6. Six plus 6. Well, we know double 6 is 12. How are we going to write this down? Well, we're going to put 1 over here in a new column, and we're going to put 2 over here. Now we have the different columns. We've got the units, the tens, the hundreds, and now we've got a new column. And do you know what the new column is called? That's right, it is the thousands. So let's put a TH here for the thousands. Now in the thousands column, we've got nothing here, we've got nothing here, but we do have one over here. Let's put a comma here as well to 
differentiate to separate the hundreds from the thousands. And we have our answer. Let's write it down over here and then we'll read it out. 642 plus 600 is 1242. Again, you don't have to write the comma, but it is good practice if you do. So that is how, uh, well, we'll give ourselves a little tick before we wrap up, because that is correct. So that is how we do addition of three-digit numbers and hundreds using the vertical format.